Hey guys, so this is just a short video. So what I did was I installed a hood scoop and a hood vent for the Ford Ranger Wild Track 2.0 by Turbo. The thing is, the engine temperature is really hot for this car, for any car basically, and it was a surprise to me when you realize how much heat is inside of this thing and how the heat is just all inside the engine and you know it's wearing out the rubber seals and the plastic pieces and you wonder why engine engine parts degrade so quickly. Now if you look at old cars before this sports cars, um, they have something called a hood scoop and a hood vent where it's basically a hood vent is this. Um, let me just show it over here. That's where the there's a hole inside the hood and the air from the engine can come out towards the back here because hot air will tend to go up. Right now, I mean most cars, the air will come in, blowing to the radiator, and then it will push the hot air into the engine and down below, going down here underneath the car. And hot air will try to bring the car up as well. So yeah, so you have a this is a hood vent, and most people who install these things are for aesthetic purposes and not functional. This is a functional one. This is a hood scoop. So I bought a dedicated hood scoop, but then it there's no place to put it here. Uh, also because I didn't want to drill extra holes, because those holes would have affected the skeleton of the hood itself. I'll show you later uh, down below. So this was uh, put in on top of the car before, and all I had was cut this piece out, put some um, like a, like a, a very crude filter for you know debris or mud or, for, or plants from coming inside. And it's been uh, screwed uh, here as well in all these uh, pieces so it doesn't come out. Um, so the air will be forced to come in here and into the engine. And there's two holes underneath the hood over here. Uh, let me open it up. Come on. Ah, okay. There you go. As you can see, the air goes in here and it's forced to come down here to the engine and from here it's where the hot air the turbo unit is somewhere down here i remember um the hot air will come out and escape this way this side so in this manner um yeah the cool the engine stays cooler have i seen any dramatic increase so far uh according to my sensor i can't tell the difference but you know if hot air can escape it will always be better right or if cold air can come in it'll be much more better as well now as you can see here this is the skeleton of the hood it's it's double layered there's two layers here actually there's two layers and that's where i do not want to make a hole so we cut the hood in the middle here where it's more there's only about one layer of metal there um so the 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 other thing that you need to know is that see as you can see here the air filter thing is coming out already because we glued it. Heat will just melt it and so it's coming out. So we're afraid that you know water can come inside here, especially here as you can see. This is where the car battery is and the electric electronics. So you have to be careful of that. And the other thing that I noticed is for the hood scoop, when you stop the car, the car is parked, hot air is rising up into here and it's coming out from here. You can feel it. Every time I park the car and I hold my hands up here. Or here you can feel the hot air coming out but this becomes super super hot especially in this area because hot air is just coming out here and they cannot come out so i thought of drilling a hole here for the hot air to come out but if you drill a hole here it will no longer be a hood scoop it will be like air will be forced to come in and then come out the other way as well but we'll see how it goes if it starts to melt then we'll put a hood there uh, we'll put a hole there to let some of the hot air come out because uh, it's although this thing is meant to resist heat because it's actually put on top of the hood which is very hot already but right now you have hot air directly coming underneath this and with hot air coming out pushing out that way that's why you're and, and, and hot air can you know melt glue that's why we're afraid that this thing will fly out hence why we put the screws over here um warranty definitely i th i think it's out i don't think we have it anymore and yeah, I'm just, I'm just the fact that when I, whenever I park, I don't have to open the hood anymore to let the air come out. I would just touch there, and I can feel, I can feel the hot air coming out, and it, that, that's just, you know, heat. It's never a good thing for a car that's not moving. Uh, too much, you need heat for engine to move, but too much is just not good. So yes, that's 
like my modification for the Ford Ranger. It's now a bit like a sports car, a bit more like a sports car now. Alright, cheers. <laughs>